All right, if you're watching this video, you want to know how to export video animations in Critter using FFmpeg. So here's a demonstration uh, video animation that I created. It's uh, not very good, but um, look, it's, it's an animation. It's a square box moving. Uh, so let's say I've made a beautiful animation and I want to uh, render the animation as a video, right? So you go to the file menu and select like render animation. And usually I think it defaults to this image sequence. So you click on video. Um, and you choose your frames per second and image size and whatever and it's got a section here FFmpeg which is empty and you're like okay um, and this is where I'm going to save my video animation which I'll, I'll put to the desktop then you press OK and it throws up an error going I can't find the FFmpeg what's FFmpeg? I mean it, why doesn't exporting video come with it uh, and I think the reason is Critter's open source and some other open source product FFmpeg does a great job of re rendering videos so they've just said use that so that we don't have to write an engine so you click on this FFmpeg um, link and it takes you to a website uh, and, here, and here it is it's a little bit it's a hard to use website frankly it's got download buttons but if anyone's ever downloaded files on the internet they know that oh some of them are mis odd and off and is this trustable? The truth is the site is ffmpeg.org and yeah pretty much every link is trustable. So if you click on the download button, um, again a very unintuitive page but basically you can see different sections download the source code, download the signing key. You want to get a package or an executable file so if I just oops, scroll up there and well, obviously I'm on a Mac so I click on the Mac and you can see this part here changes when I, when I hover across. So I hover on the Apple one and go static builds for Mac click on it and it takes me to a new page and again a very unintuitive page with lots of clickable stuff but uh, basically it says all users are encouraged to use the current snapshot build instead of the release build uh, because bug reports are accepted in snapshot builds look honestly snapshot builds are fine the one on the left is a snapshot build and the one on the right is the release build it, it doesn't really matter which one you choose the other thing is you can see ffmpeg is the top option here in the row and there's some other other pieces of software that the same um, open source community are creating with the FF brand in which we're not particularly interested in. So, all right, let's just click the snapshot and you've got a choices here about how you download it. I choose to download it as a zip and when I click on it, you can see it starts downloading immediately. So it's going to take, according to this, two minutes. So we'll take it up once the download's complete. Okay, now the download's done. So if I right click on um, FFmpeg and I show in folder, it jumps into my downloads folder and if I double click on this, oh it gives you an error which says it can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. So it's like well what do I do now? There's no clues, there's no no information, it's, it's just a straight file. What do you do? So to, to make a long story short you hold down the control key and you double click on it. Oh, oh yeah. And I picked open and it says, are you sure? And you're going to go, yep. And it opens a window and basically runs FFmpeg, right? Uh, and ba effectively what you've said is run FFmpeg, but you haven't got it, given it anything to do. So it kind of just says, okay, here it is. So there's FFmpeg completed. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quit out of Safari because I don't need that website anymore. I'm going to move FFmpeg to the desktop but what you really want to do is probably move it to somewhere like applications uh, for a permanent position. Um, then we can go back into uh, our Critter animation and we're going to go and tell Critter, so you click on this folder icon, FFmpeg folder, go find, there's the desktop, there's FFmpeg, uh, and then we set our parameters and then when I press OK, boom, it, enc it encodes the frames and that makes it, oh, what happened there? Ah, there you go. There's my animation. Okay. All right. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If you liked it, give me a give me a like. And if you've got something to say, please do put it in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.